Haya meteorologist Michelle Muscatello, an unsettled day today. Already have been tracking some spotty showers this morning, and they're just going to pick up in intensity this afternoon through the evening hours. Could be some isolated downpours and thunderstorms, too. Again, steadiest and heaviest between about 2 p.m. and 10 p.m. this evening, with brief street flooding and dangerous lightning a possibility here. It's from a cold front, and that front's going to sweep across the area this evening and overnight tonight, bringing an end to the rain. But out ahead of it's humid, it's breezy with temperatures stuck in the 70s, lower 70s at the coastline and mostly mid 70s inland areas. Now the temperatures may even fall a few degrees as that rain turns steadier through the afternoon and this could spell trouble for the evening commute. This is just a radar simulation here from one of our computer models, but showing those downpours for the evening commute that could lead to that localized street flooding. As the rain starts to taper off, the skies will gradually clear and we'll be back to sunshine for tomorrow. And that's not the only difference. We'll see lower humidity too. I'm going to show you that in just a minute. All right, so rainfall total typical in the summertime. You can see a few spots that get a couple of tenths of an inch of rain and others that may get near an inch of rainfall depending on where those downpours and thunderstorms set up. So it'll be beneficial for our area, but likely not enough to wipe us out of that drought that we've been in. So here's the difference. The muggy meter getting back into that comfortable range for Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday behind our cold front. You're going to start to feel the humidity dropping overnight. We're comfortable for sleeping as lows cool to around 60 and then looking like great weather to get back out to the beach and pool on Tuesday and Wednesday.